Hi, in this video I want to talk about latent hyperopia. Um, hyperopia is long-sightedness. Latent hyperopia is a sort of hyperopia, um, is a sort of long-sightedness. Um, there are three types of long-sightedness. There's presbyopia, which you get um, in middle age when your eyes start to change anyway. We're not going to be talking about that. Um, then there's manifest hyperopia and latent hyperopia, which are both sort of the same thing really. With manifest hyperopia, your eye is as long-sighted as it's ever going to get and you need glasses um, to see things close up. Uh, with latent hyperopia, you can actually still use your muscles to accommodate and see close up and it's a process so um, most people who have a hyperopia actually have latent hyperopia and this later on becomes manifest hyperopia um, as over the years um, the, the eyes are no longer able to accommodate. Um, so signs that you may have latent hyperopia um, they include um, things like neck ache. Neck ache is very, very common. Um, eye strain and headache. Um, and if you or your child actually has dyslexia, there could actually be an underlying hyperopia. Um, if you think that you have latent hyperopia, um, then I've dealt with this in how to get diagnosed with hyperopia. Um, if you have this particular condition, it's better to go to an independent optician. Um, there are two tests for hyperopia. Um, one is the push fogging test, which will certainly bring out any manifest hyperopia. Um, to look for latent hyperopia, you need the cycloplegic eye drops, which the optician will put in your eye, and they relax the muscle completely so that they can see how much hyperopia is in there. Okay, thank you.